In the last app, the user learned how to control the flight of the phoenix only by telling the phoenix how much it should rise or fall. Here, now, the path can be predetermined by deciding on this rising and falling right from the start. So, the user controls the derivative of the path the phoenix will take. For example, if you tell the phoenix to rise at the beginning, then fall again, then rise and fall and rise, and you press the go button, the phoenix will exactly do that. Rise, fall, and at the end, rise again. The curve created by the control points is again a Lagrange interpolation. And as you might have guessed, the goal is to collect the fireballs. So we have to rise a little bit more at the beginning and then drop down to reach the right hand side safely. The better you are, the more fireballs will appear. So for example, now we have to drop down a little bit and then we have to rise again. If you see that you made a mistake, you can immediately press the back button to reset this specific task. And now you can try to adapt the curve you created. With a maximum of three fireballs, this is a very challenging app that might be suitable for older students, especially for those who are already familiar with the concept of derivatives.